<laughs> Guys, welcome back to another quick FPV 123 episode from the Hobby King New York studio. My name is Matt, and today I've got some pan tilt gear to show you guys. Now, you may remember back in the spring, Stuart was last here, we did a cool video on kind of a full house, fully dialed Sky Mule FPV system with an OSD, uh, multi-camera switcher, and a pan tilt system. Uh, a lot of questions about pan tilt lately. So I've isolated that component. I've taken just this off. This is the uh, accessory canopy that comes with the Sky Mule that's designed for camera installation. And as you can see, I've just mounted our pan tilt camera very basically on the top there. Now this is the Fat Shark pan and tilt camera that comes assembled this way. It comes with the servos, all the wiring's pre-done. So all you have to do is plug this thing in. It's a great, great solution, uh, especially if you already have a set of Fat Shark goggles. To run a pan tilt like this, you're gonna need some kind of pan tilt mount. We sell a billion of them on the site for every kind of size or shape of camera you could possibly imagine and every budget as well. There's no excuse not to give this a try. You're also going to need either a set of goggles that have a built-in head tracking unit or a standalone head tracking unit. We've got a bunch of those on the uh, FPV side as well. The best of the best really right now is the Fat Shark Trinity unit. That gives you both pan, tilt, and roll. It's a three axis thing, super duper cool. I don't have one of those. To get this to work, especially if you're using something like the FR Sky Tyrannus, it's very, very simple. What you're going to do is connect the two servo leads that come out of the pan tilt unit to your receiver. So in this case, you can see I've removed everything from the receiver except the UBEC that's providing the power and the two channels that are the servos for the pan and tilt. Now to assign those, at least within the uh, FR Sky system, all you gotta do is tell it that the trainer channel, for uh, channels five and six, are moving this unit. So in other words, go into the menu on the Tyrannus, you're gonna select the channels where you've plugged this in, in this case, seven and eight, and you're going to assign those to a pair of PPM channels, which is how the Tyrannus recognizes its trainer. Those are PPM five and six. So you're gonna assign PPM five to channel seven, PPM six to channel eight, and that activates the pan tilt, or at least allows the signal to get to the camera. To actually go ahead and use the pan tilt on the Fat Shark goggles, you press and hold your channel select button, and you'll hear a beep. That beep indicates that the pan tilt system is now activated, and as you can see, the camera moves where I turn the goggles. This never gets old, guys. It's like the best thing ever. So that activates the system. Now, there's two ways to deactivate this. You can either press and hold again, and you'll get a double beep, and you'll snap back to center. Or, let's say you're pan tilting away here. You're happily looking at stuff, and your buddy calls your name, and you turn your head real quick. Oops, it snaps back to center again. So you get that double beep, and it returns to center. That's a safety feature of this unit. I believe the Trinity Tracker does that as well. You can also, if you're really paranoid, assign those channels to a switch on your transmitter so you can manually center in any given time with a switch on the transmitter. Guys, that's about it. Uh, alternately, if you weren't using a Tyrannus using someone else's radio, all you gotta do is access your trainer channels and your trainer channels via a trainer cable connected from your goggle. As you can see here, it goes from the port on the goggles to the back of the radio. That's what actually sends the signal. So it is a trainer signal from your goggles or your head tracker that's doing the moving. So whatever your radio system is, you assign those trainer channels to the channels where you've plugged in your pan tilt unit, and that's all there is to it. It's really not very complicated, and it is an amazing effect. Now, if you check it out, uh, it's freezing outside right now, so we're not gonna go out and do any flying right this minute, but we do have a bunch of footage that James has put together from that earlier video. I'm gonna show you that right now so you can check out how this thing works. Always guys, stay tuned. Any more questions, leave them in the comments to this video. Looking for more episodes of FPV123, and I'll see you real soon. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh, yeah, you went too far. So cool. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs>
Now guys, uh, you'll be able to see we're recording um, the output from the camera. I think I can switch between cameras as well, kind of Matt. Is it that one? You can. Okay. That one. Okay, yeah. so you guys, uh, you'll be able to switch between uh, this camera here, the bottom one, and then of course the Mobius. Um, okay, so it's ready to go. I've got head tracking off at the moment. Yep. I switch that. Wait, right. wait forward. Wait for it. Oh, that makes me feel so sick. <laughs> I'm turn that off for now. We're just nauseated. Carry on. Alright, ready? <laughs> Good? Good. You're free. Okay, now it is quite a bit windy at the moment. Make sure you turn and stay somewhat close since we had some yep. range issues before. It's an electronically busy airport. <laughs> yes. Alright, well this is looking pretty cool. Right on. I'm gonna switch it, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept your word for it. <laughs> belly cam. Nice. Oh, that's gotta be creepy to fly from the belly cam. Yep. <laughs> yes. Got a great view. I'm gonna put Plot head tracking on. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you're going very slowly, but you must be flying into the wind. Yeah. It looks like you're in a hover right now. <laughs> Let's get a bank. Look down. You got maximum 30 degree bank angle with your uh, nice. stabilizer yeah, on, so you can just bang stick and it just won't turn too far. Alright, let's switch the camera here. Oh, Hello. right over the field, nice. nice. That's incredible. That's Brad, dude. Head tracking is great. The, the, thank you. The auto stabilizing is fantastic. It's really doing its thing. Like it's The yep. wind like kicks the wing over and it like totally rocks back down. Yep. I'm gonna give it a we bit more so power. close to the stall right there. <laughs> yeah, I, can I can actually feel it in the thing. I'm going to switch the camera a bit here. Let's see where that, there's a water thing going yeah, on there. Yeah, right there. There you go. There we go. Look at that. Red. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to bring it. Right, watch those trees. There's got yep. a lot of sink going in your head for the trees. Okay, I'm going to give it a bit more throttle. There you go. Nice. The, looking, I can look down very now with good. the head tracker. You see that? Another right. one, as they were. I can see the nose there. This is fantastic. <laughs> Guys, if you haven't tried FBV or if you've only dabbled at it like me, I thoroughly recommend going get, full out and yeah. getting a set like this. Get, get an OSD. Get a friend it, like it, Matt that knows what he's doing. <laughs> Not that it's that complicated, it's but that it helps. Uh, but get yourself an OSD. The, the OSD is the, amazing. The on-screen display with, with the artificial horizon and the speed and the altitude ladders and all that stuff totally makes you feel like a fighter pilot with your feet on the ground. And it does... Yeah. I think it may, it changes the way you fly a little bit, it makes things interesting. You start looking at where and what's going on as opposed to just going for it. Okay. You're spotting us. <laughs> I'm looking head up. tracking is hilarious. All right, okay. Turn head tracking off. Okay, turn it off Stay now. Off. Yep. Stabilizer off. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. You're back okay. in full manual control of that squirrely, squirrely bird. Okay, coming in. Yes, you are. Lead that speed, buddy. Hold it off. Hold it off. You're good. Hold it off. Here's the earth. <laughs> I think I flared just that at the right That was a little moment. bit abrupt, but right. altogether totally safe. Wait, hold still. Uh, there's the universe. Blink a few times. It's bright out here. Wow. There you go. Fantastic. One of those. High five. Uh, yes. Very, uh, this one. Very, very <laughs> cool. Uh, farmer there in the background. Again, um, if you were thinking you've only just dabbled like me, uh, the Sky Mule will handle the weight, it will fly slow, and with this kind of system... Super, super cool. Yeah. And Matt, I think you're happy with this system. I am, I'm going to play it. with this as soon as these go. Right, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.